Chess against a computer, like the King performance, can be very fun and exciting if you at least win once in a while. This is especially important with a young player like a seven-year-old. To get answers on the level settings and how to get more out of the computer and understand its wide range of playing settings, I went directly to Millennium. Hi, it's Raphael Neff with Chess House, and I'm here with Thomas Millennium in Germany. And uh, we're going to be talking about the Millennium King performance today and how this chess computer is especially uh, great for beginners and young players. Hey, Raphael, good to meet you. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm happy to, to tell you something about it. Um, uh, you know, uh, one of our shareholders is Manfred Hegener, which had been the CEO and founder of uh, Hegener and Glaser AG in Munich. in uh, 70s um, uh, and that was the manufacturer of the Mephisto chess computers indeed and uh, so you can say that the owners of our company are the old guys from Mephisto huh? this is uh, uh, how it is and uh, since 2014 um, Millennium uh, is back in this chess computer business I mean we, we never stopped it uh, it has been since uh, the mid 90s uh, very much focused on German food chains where we sold chess computers at a very, very low end price level um, but in 2014 Mephisto went out of market and so the German toy industry asked us whether we can build stronger chess computers like in the past and we took the challenge and uh, we found that this uh, is a nice uh, niche with a very interesting community behind. And it was a great fun for us to see how this goes and how to work with the community to get the products to the market. Yeah, and that's why we are here nowadays with, I think, a nice and well-balanced range of different chess computers. I remember the Mephisto computers and other brands uh, from years ago. And it's just so exciting to see that that is carried forward today it's about the King performance because I think this one is has a lot to offer for players of all strengths. Yeah, that is indeed very interesting also to me. You know, the King performance is actually one of the strongest machines which we have in the lineup yes. on one hand, but on the other hand, the software can be customized in a way that even a seven-year-old can very easily beat it. And that's an interesting aspect. You shared a video of your seven-year-old uh, playing the computer and I was curious why does your son like this computer what have you experienced the thing is that there is a, a way to set the king software so that it is really easy for absolute beginners to beat the computer because what I know is is nothing more frustrating for a kid than always losing and if you right. if you take a strong chess computer I mean th these engines are so strong not even talking about the PCs which is even much worse but um, if you set it right it's a great fun for the kids and this is what you have seen in the video I mean for me it's it's I think it's good when my son is using a chess computer because then he's not in front of the screen <laughs> you know he's the kids nowadays are watching so much TV they are playing so much video games and so to having something haptical something which they can take to the garden for example this is great and and, I mean, we both know that chess is really good for kids, for their brain development, strategic thinking, all these things are well known. And uh, with a chess computer, this is really a, a different aspect to them. And you also have to see that majority of the kids nowadays has never seen a chess computer. So for them, it's the same fascinating thing than it was in the 80s. Uh, when we when right. chess computers have been, yeah, the, the, the source of AI and things like that. And for kids, this is still the same fascinating thing. That's uh, why they are very much keen on trying these machines when they get one. And so I also asked my son, what, what do you like about chess computers? And I got two very interesting answers. The first one, this is the real, real fact, is that he cannot beat the machine in a, in a sense of uh, the machine reminds him if there's a mistake. He cannot do a wrong move. He cannot overlook a, a made situation or something like that, which is a great help, of course. Um, and you have to know that we in the family use the machine normally to play in the two-player mode, to have it as a referee, um, because all of us are not strong players, casual players, as he would say. And uh, my son said, the best thing is that I can beat mama. And I said, yes. Why? Yeah, she said, she said, you know, she's always keeping her pawns in front of the king, but she's taking the side pieces out, the rook, the knight, the bishop, and then I take my queen, go to the last line, and she's checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> and that was really a great fun because I think only on the weekend he, he made exactly the situation. I was wondering what is he doing when I watched the game. And two moves later, 
we won. So, and uh, yeah, my wife was not so happy, but my son was. <laughs> <laughs> that is so great. You know, my kids are enjoying playing as well around uh, age 10 and under. And uh, it's just amazing to see things from a different perspective. Thomas, I also wanted to ask you about why the King engine. It's called the King Performance, and it's a very powerful machine, but I'd love for you to share more about why this engine was chosen. Yeah, well, this is very easy to answer. When we when we launched uh, the Chess Genius exclusive in 2017, um, the community asked us to introduce also another engine because they wanted to have a different playing variety, a different playing style. And um, so we, we asked them, what engine do you like? And uh, the, the German chess computer forum, the chesscomputer.info, they made a survey among their users and asking exactly that question for us. Um, what engine do you like? And the result was, was absolutely clear because around 50% of the users said, we want the king. And why is this the case? The king engine has been used in, in former times in the task machines. And these task chess computers, if you buy them as used stuff nowadays, they are extremely rare and extremely expensive. And the engine has always been rewarded to be a very interesting, um, untypical computer style, aggressive, fast forward are the words which has been used by the community in connection with the king engine. So, and that is, on the other hand, also something which is a clear opposite to the Genius Engine, which has other strengths. And so uh, we went to Johan de Koning, he's the programmer of the King Engine. And at that time, he was free, which was a great luck. And so we, we did a partnership agreement with him and uh, he did uh, started to develop the engine for the uh, M7 processor, which we are using in the, in the program. And yeah, that's how it came. So more or less, it is uh, driven by the community. That's really great. And sometimes I hear people talk about a human-like playing style. Is that, is that reality? Is that a misnomer? Is that, what do you think of that phrase? Um, that is what the people who know these engines very strongly from the community are, are telling. Um, uh, it is, the King Engine plays very attractive, very aggressive. It is not hiding itself in, in the back end of the chessboard, but it's really pushing forward. So I think that's what I mean. It's, it's really um, somehow different and it's, uh, it's not boring to watch such a game. That's right. I've been playing it myself and I find it's very interesting play. What is your favorite aspect of the King Performance? What do you like most about this unit? For King Performance, I think one thing very obvious for me is the outlook. The outlook of the King Performance, it's the classical beauty in our lineup. That definitely, it really, it looks straightforward. It looks like you would expect a chess computer to look, which, which I like very much uh, personally. Um, second aspect is of course these 81 LEDs in a chessboard because you don't need to, to watch a move when you are in the game. You just watch your chessboard and that's it. That's, I think, an aspect of the usability which is extremely important to me. And the final one, this is a hidden secret of the King Performance, as you may say. This is this user style setting that allows you really to fine tune and customize, customize the King Performance in a way which I have never seen on any other chess computer. Um, and it's exactly the setting which you need to make it beatable for a seven year old, which uh, knows nothing about chess, but how the, the, the pieces move. So I think most people do not know that this feature is there. I That's leave it to right. you afterwards to show how that works, but this is really the coolest thing, I would say. Thanks, Thomas, for um, your answers here, and we'll go right ahead to this demonstration. Okay. Thanks, Raphael, for giving me the chance, and looking forward to see you next time.